What is going on guys, it is CG here and welcome back to some more Ark Survival Evolved. Before I jump into the video, I just want to wish you all a wonderful 2017 and I hope you enjoyed the Christmas holidays. Now in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the next upcoming patch, which is featuring 7 new dinos. Please do leave a comment down below on what dino you are looking forward to the most, I'd love to hear from you guys. Jumping straight into the video with the Ovis Ares. The Ovis Ares, or just Ovis for short, is a stupid herbivore that was around during the Cenozoic period which ended around 65 million years ago. In the wild, the Ovis stands very little chance of survival amongst the island's many predators. Just like the Dodo, the Ovis Ares continued survival on the island given the severe challenges is a mystery. Once tamed, the Ovis can provide a very large amount of wool when being sheared and provides a very delicious, hyper-nutritious dish. That's if you're into lamb chops, of course. There is only one practical use to the Ovis, and that is its ability to climb at very steep inclines than any other dino. Moving on to the Thylacoleo. Thylacoleo is an aggressive carnivore which was around during the late Pliocene to the late Pleistocene period. Whilst in the wild, the Thylacoleo is often found hunting around trees. Its long claws and semi opposable digits make it an apt climber a quality that it uses to its advantage whilst hunting. Thylacolea will often hide up trees and ambush passing prey by pouncing onto them. Once something at large jumps onto a target, it becomes stunned and doesn't stand much chance. Once a Thylacolea bites its prey, it locks its jaw in an iron strength grip that can hold most smaller creatures in place. If in need of escaping, it will use its hind legs to jump back to the safety amongst the trees. Once tamed, it is a strong mount. Its ability to climb trees and jump long distances makes it extremely useful to any tribe. Small raiding parties often favour the Thylacoleo as it is very well suited to ambushes and any unfair fight. The Basilosaurus The Basilosaurus is a passive piscivore which was around during the late Eocene period. In the wild, the Basilosaurus is a very powerful swimmer which has adapted to the shallow so remarkably well that it rapidly recovers from injuries when near the water's surface. However, it is very vulnerable to deep water pressure, which slowly causes it harm. The Basilosaurus is usually closely followed by other predatory creatures, as its eating habits often leave large amounts of scraps for scavengers to consume. It's a gentle creature towards humans and will take food off them directly. However, the other creatures nearby become dangerously enraged, as there is usually no leftovers for them. Once tamed, the Basilosaurus is very well at keeping you alive from temperatures. Its mammalian, warm-blooded circulation provides perfect comfort from both heat and cold for any survivor. Alternatively, the Basilosaurus is rather often hunted for its very special blubber which is far more efficient than gasoline. Next up, the Baryonyx. The Baryonyx is a passive as well as aggressive Piscivorus that was around during the early Cretaceous period. It is passive towards land creatures but aggressive towards water dwellers. Whilst in the wild, the Baryonyx is an extremely fast swimmer, which is still nimble enough to threaten most creatures on the island. Despite being a fast swimmer, it exclusively eats fish and other sea creatures, and has the ability to heal wounds preternaturally fast after feeding on nutritious fish meat. Once tamed, the Baryonyx learns to kill ocean dwellers even more efficiently. Between its speed and power, it makes an ideal choice for anyone interested in frequently moving between water and land travel, with the ease of valuing speed and agility over raw strength. Moving on to the Perlovia. The Perlovia is a patient carnivore that was around during the late Permian period. In the wild, the Perlovia embodies the element of surprise. After burrowing beneath the jungle floor, it enters a state of hibernation that can go extended periods of time without any food at all. When some unfortunate creature eventually wanders by, it dramatically bursts forth from the ground, tearing into its prey with its large canines before the victim can react. Once tamed, the Perlovia is a very efficient in a pack. With one cloud assemble, you will have an instantaneous minefield of deadly claws and teeth. However, any ambushes using the Perlovia must be planned well in advance, as it refuses to hibernate if it senses any target nearby. Next up, the Microraptor. The Microraptor is an aggressive carnivore that was around during the early Cretaceous period. When in the wild, the Microraptor is one of the smallest non-avian dinosaurs on the island. Incredibly fast for its size, it is a voracious carnivore, aggressive towards anything its size or smaller. It fancies itself an apex predator, it will attack humans on sight, especially if it's alone. When hunting, its speed is only one of its assets. While not capable of sustained flight, its wings allow it to stay aloft for several seconds while jumping. 
This allows Microraptor to attack its prey in vulnerable areas, as well as search for small river fish. Once tamed, the Microraptor only targets riders. Tendency to attack weaker creatures means they ignore the mount while attacking the rider with leaps of fury. Finally, the Ammonite. The Ammonite is a passive bottom feeder which was around during the Jurassic to mid Cretaceous period. Usually found in the deepest parts of the waters around the island, it has a strange relationship with other creatures of the deep. It must do something beneficial for them, since every nearby creature defends the Ammonite when it is attacked. In deep underwater caves, the Ammonite will draw itself attention if assaulted, making harvesting its resource rich shell a tricky proposition, depending on what other dangers may be lurking nearby. The Ammonite is a non tameable creature. However, once killed, the Ammonite can be harvested for Ammonition Vial, which is obtained by harvesting the innards of an Ammonite's corpse. The vials can be worked together with other chemicals to make very powerful concoctions, usually antidotes against the most powerful poisons and illnesses. Its shell is rich in rare materials, presumably due to the creature's unique place amongst the island's food chain. Ok guys, so they are the upcoming dinos we can all expect to see on January the 20th. Please do leave a comment down below on which dino you are most looking forward to. If you enjoyed this video and wish to see more, then why not join the community and subscribe today for more Ark Survival Evolved content. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.